Okay, so I'll test that day to everyone. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create shear and moment diagram using Autodesk Inventor. So this is Autodesk Inventor. If you don't have it yet, you can download the installer for free from Autodesk website. You can check the video description for the tutorial video on how you can download and install the software. Okay, so let us start. So click on the new button. Then select on standard millimeter. Click on create. So let us now create a 14 meters straight line. So that will be used as our beam. So click on start to this sketch. Select XY plane. Then click on line. So create 14 meter or that is 14,000 millimeter straight line. Click on enter, then right click, then OK. So let us save this part or model, or click on finish sketch first, then click on save. So let us save this as part 17. Click on save. So next step is to create an assembly. So again, click on new, then select on standard millimeter, and click on create. So let us now put our part here so that is part 17 then click on open so we can simply click here or right click then place grounded at origin so then right click then okay so select the front view to check our orientation okay so this is our x and y axis so let us click update save the model so let us save this as assembly 12 then click on save then yes to all so go to design tab then click on insert frame so this allow us to create our beam using this straight line so let us select this line then click on any beam so since there is no given size or dimension of the beam so just uh, select any beam from this selection of beams then click on OK. So one thing you need to check here is the origin of our beam. So in our figure, our origin is at point A. So we need to check if our origin here is at this side. To do that, you need to click on the plus sign. Again, plus sign at the left side of the origin folder. Then click on the center point. So our origin here is at the left side already, but if not, say for example, it is at the right side, and if you want to move that to the left, just simply right click on this beam, then edit with frame generator. So if you want to change the orientation of your center point, just click on this arrow or flip direction. You can also click this one, flip ends, so that will move the origin from left to right or right to left so we'll just click on ok then next after setting up the origin or center point click on frame analysis then click on create simulation you can rename this simulation of whatever you want so click on ok the next step is to put the support so the support here is located at point a and point c so there is no given support here like roller and pin so we can simply put a pin here and a roller at point C so to do that click on pin then select this point okay so first uh, let us uh, click on frame analysis settings for us to have other option so click on ok now let us click on floating or our roller so we can click any point on the beam or on this line but take note of its offset position so that is uh, around 9 meter this is from this point so from the given we have uh, 10 meters from this point or point A so let us put 10,000 millimeters here then click on K so we can also change the unit of this so just click on tools then document settings click on units then the length let us put 
meter and then click on ok so we can now go back to frame analysis so now let us put the load so here we have a continuous load and a concentrated load of 30 kN so first let us put the 20 kN per meter so that is continuous load so its magnitude again that is 20 kN meter or 20,000 Newton per millimeter okay, so let us select our beam so here is the load so we need to put its length so from the given we have 5 meters so let us put 5 meters here then if you want to create a varying uniform load say for example uh, 50 thousand newton per meter at this side so we can click on end magnitude then type in the end magnitude here so since the given is only a uniform 20 kN per meter so let us deselect this one so click on ok next load is the 30 kN at point D so again click on force then click on origin and select this point so let us put 30,000 so take note its offset uh, and its location so that is at the right side so it's 14 meters let us put 14 meters here then click on ok so we are done with the force or applied forces now to neglect the weight of the beam we need to remove this one or go to load then right click on gravity then suppress so the weight of the beam now is neglected so we can now click on simulate so this shows us the displacement diagram now to view the shear and moment diagram we can click on beam detail then select our beam so this is our force diagram so we can check the loads here from the continuous load and the force at point D which is uh, FY here so that is negative 30,000 Newton so meaning that is downward now for the reaction you can check that at the pin constraint so this is 63,000 this is pin constraint and the floating pin constraint so this one so 67 if you will check our figure so this is 67 and 63 kilonewton now let us go to moment diagram so click on this one so this will display our moment diagram then for shear diagram click on this one okay, so that is how you can display the shear and moment diagram but if you will take a look at the moment diagram so the maximum moment here you can check the magnitude of this uh, moment below so from the result you can check the maximum moment which is approximately 117 meter. so there is a difference between the result of Autodesk Inventor simulation with this one when it comes to the moment diagram so but for the shear force so this is almost the same with uh, this figure so that is for the beam detail now for the other diagram you can click on diagram then select what do you want to create say for example shear force so that is our diagram for the shear force or if you want a moment you can click on this one so that is the moment diagram so that is how you can create a shear and moment diagram using Autodesk Inventor if you have any question you can write a comment below or send us your email so that's all for this video thank you for watching